An image from the old world. Looks like some kind of building in front of... The image is incomplete. But maybe if I line it up exactly with where it was taken, my focus can fill in the rest. Looks like the building in the image might have been near a river. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? There's the quarry Thurlis mentioned. Looks like the Osram decided to put up a fight. One less machine. machine. safe. Stranger, come on over here. We gotta talk. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. 
We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work. But Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olwen blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olwen holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to shore our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scrape can get back to work now. I'll go give all of the good news. Bloodies, too. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. fill my patch with these later. I could look around with my focus, try to match the Vista Point image. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? A bridge. Maybe it's the same one from the. That did it. Huh. Completing the image unlocked a data file. It looks like these Vista points were made by huh. Miriam Technologies. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find more of them out in the wild.
she was on to me. Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then what east to bear light. Oh, hi. <coughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, Red. We're closed. I know you see me. To revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I. Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. Come back anytime, Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Uh, <laughs> man, this uh, the last video. You didn't hear my voice because I, some at some point, I uh, hit the mute button on my headset before starting to record and uh, didn't record any of it. <clears throat> so yeah, this this YouTube thing really keeps you on your toes. You gotta watch out for the small stuff. And hopefully that doesn't happen again. And I really need to sell some stuff, I think. But I don't know why last time I couldn't talk to this guy. I still can't. So if I wanted to buy some armor or do some upgrades, I guess I couldn't do it. What about this guy? Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Guess not. But, uh, should be able to do some damage here. Still 
Right here, I see. We've heard this before. If we chain scrape one? is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah! The magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then. People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. Shouldn't take more than a day or two. No, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it. Friends, gather round. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Great. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Here we go. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. any of those brought out only the good stuff for you red see it as you got that whistle blowing hey i've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days you haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks though have you take your time i promise you won't be disappointed Time. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. <laughs> that is cold. You little ones can run all day, can't you? Hmm. I only get six shots with it. That sucks. That might be open now. Or unlocked. Nice to see you back here. What can I help you with? Nope. Useless. Ah, there you 
far, I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Stock up on some food before I head back out. And see what else Elder's cooking up. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain says. When I said... cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Well, now that that's done... The embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it. Able to track down silence. Anyways. I have no idea I had so many skill points. <sighs> Maybe even a guy a backup. I guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. Nothing 
interesting. Change your mind about the Come for that challenge? beer after all, eh? Some Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch, but overall they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olven? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a Stormbird Heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. Who is this Tolan Cleanbroker? Just some chuff-huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in Chain Scrape since there was a Chain Scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolan works for Alvin? <laughs> Olven might think so, but Talon scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. 
So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tallinn has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first. I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! Where are we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> But you're just not! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba-boom! One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done in one, machine wrecking... Yet perfectly safe... Javelin thrower. <laughs> Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba-boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes, basic, undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better, namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need... Charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Foomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. The spear that blows oh, up. Sign me up. Could get around faster if I find a charger to override. I can override one of these chargers. 
I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. Get data to override machines from cauldrons. Just need to find one. That was comical. All right, so I'm gonna get off. Rumor said that Fanghorn should be nearby. Wait, what? Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. And this bow.
many points. Jesus. I wasn't supposed to get a mount, I was supposed to get horns. Unless that was a different... Um, now what are these things? Can't grab them. So yeah, unless that was a different oh, quest. How many of these horns do I need? Does it say? Three. Got everything I need for Della and Boomer. Well, see about that weapon of theirs.
welcome, Outlander. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Uh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. The boom Nice. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna do some damage. Anyway guys, this is all we got for this one. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.